the fastest way to increase your self-esteem is to increase your self-praise. Now, we always want other people to give us praise, right? Some of us do. Some of us don't accept it. Some of us cannot accept a compliment. But it always feels good when you get a compliment. It feels good when someone says, um, you look beautiful. You look really hot. Um, It feels good when people give you a compliment. And if we only depend on other people's compliments for our self-esteem, we're going to go like this. We're going to feel down when nobody is giving us compliments. We're going to struggle in relationships because we depend on our partner to give us that confidence. And the best relationships and the best way that you can build your self-worth is by giving yourself praise. And I want you to practice that. It's really hard, but you can practice it. And some of those things that I was talking about, right? So like looking at yourself in the mirror and looking at yourself and saying, you have beautiful eyes. You have a beautiful smile. I got good knockers. (laughs) You could say that I got a good booty. Um, You can say I have beautiful legs, whatever it is that you think is beautiful about you. I want you to focus on it and give yourself some praise, give yourself praise about the efforts that you're putting in, give yourself praise about where you're headed, give yourself praise about, Oh, I am going to have a thin waist in no time. Right? So I want you to really focus on increasing your self-praise because you will increase your self-worth. And if you have low self-worth, you will never put your health as your number one priority. And it's really important to understand that if your health isn't your number one priority, you're going to make excuses. It's never going to be the right time. There's always going to be something that comes in the way and interferes with your health. So you've got to really raise your self-esteem, raise your praise that you give to yourself, and then you'll start raising your self-worth and you will know that you're worth it to be able to put your health as your number one priority. I find it interesting. A lot of women have a very difficult time putting their health as their number one priority. And when I say that, it almost is like you have this... (laughs) I can't put myself as my number one priority. That is so selfish. Um, And it doesn't mean when I say your health is your number one priority, that you're not taking care of all of your responsibilities and taking care of your kids and your job and your work and whatever else that you're doing. It just means putting yourself up there equally with all of those other things. And when you can do that, you you start to realize that you have, you are the most important thing in your life and everybody else's life around you. Because if you don't have your health, then you can't show up for everybody else at a hundred percent. I can guarantee you, if you are tired, if you don't like yourself, if you're overweight and you have these bad looping thoughts in your head and you're, you don't sleep well at night and you've got anxiety and depression, um, and you've got heartburn and you've got, um, uh, cardiovascular inflammation, tell me how you're going to show up at a hundred percent. It is not possible. And when you start to increase your self-worth and you start to put your health as your number one priority, you start to be able to show up and guess what you have, like I told you last night or the night before the most influence of all those others around you. So when you're taking care of your health, then your kids start to take care of their health and your spouse starts to take care of his health and your friends notice that you are taking care of your health and what is it that you're doing? So you have to raise your self-worth. And the only way to do that is by increasing your self-praise. 